Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Alec, here with another tutorial, not a daily video, but this is going to replace it anyway. Uh, first of all, big shout out and big thanks to Calibration God, Brady, and Bloodline for discovering this very, very convenient method of um, OBS cropping. Now, when I say OBS cropping, it's to sort of make your game look a little bit cleaner or, uh, you know, a little bit more spacious on your screen. So if you want to have the board right on the side and then your score meter and rock meter on top, rather than just having the chroma key and everything in its normal place, that way you can have a little bit more room to place your things where you want to place them. Um, big thanks to them for figuring that out. This is what I'm talking about, uh, OBS cropping. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a fairly lengthy, but you'll get the hang of it once, uh, once the video is over. So, excuse me because I still have a cold, uh, so I'm going to try and be a little articulate here. So, first thing that you're going to be doing is uh, right click in the scenes box. We're going to be adding a lot of scenes. So, for this example, I'm going to be using Console Guitar Hero 3. Uh, but this works exactly the same way for GH3 on PC. Uh, just uh, instead of adding a uh, capture card source, you're just going to be adding the window capture source for GH3.exe since you're running it through 3D Analyze or by whatever other means. Uh, so you're going to right click and add a scene. We're going to call this one Hands. And for this one, we're going to right click on the right uh, on the right hand box in sources. We we'll go to add video capture device. We're going to add our webcam for hands. This is going to be our base scene right here. We don't have to touch this for a while. So uh, we're done with this scene. Add a new one. This one's going to be called chart. And in this source, we're going to be adding the window for Guitar Hero 3, or you know, uh, your capture card. This works the same way for Rock Band 4, Rock Band 3, Guitar Hero 5, wh whatever, whatever you want to stream, but I'll get to that in a little bit as we explore our options. So we're going to go to Video Capture Device, or Window, whatever, see there's our Guitar Hero 3 right there. Uh, we're done with this scene, add another scene, we're going to call this one Score, add Guitar Hero 3 again. Add a new scene, we're going to call this one Rock Meter. And by the way, a lot of these scenes are optional. You don't have to have the Rock Meter in there if you don't want. Uh, but we're just going to go the whole nine yards and add everything just so you can explore customization. So now, here's where some of the tricky uh, part comes in. You're going to highlight the first uh, scene that we made, which is Chart. Right click on the scene, not the source. Right click on the scene. And we're going to right click on the uh, scene and add filter. And then in the effect filters box, we're going to right click on an empty spot and hover over add. And we're going to select the first option, image mask slash blend. I'm going to hit OK. So now, um, I'm going to add these pictures in the description, which is a set of crops. Uh, that's correct. So we're going to be adding a set, uh, a set of crops here, which is just a a black background with a whited out image right in the middle. This is where it looks for video, and it just kind of gets rid of the black around. Just white out the image. All right. So we're going to hit browse right here. Go find our crop. And since this is chart, we go with this one. See, there we go, there's the cutout. I'm gonna hit close. And so now we select the score, score scene, right click that one, add a filter, effect filters, image mask slash blend. Since this is the score, click the score picture. See, now it's cropped to be a score. Now we're going to right click on the rock meter one, filters, same thing, image mask, browse, rock meter, there we go, we're going to hit close. So now we're going to go back 
to the web cam source and this is where some of the magic comes in. We're going to right click on the empty sources, hover over add and add scene. Now you see where this is going. So now we're going to go down to chart. See, there's our chart right here. This can move around freely. I'm going to right click and add another scene. Score. There you go, boom. That can move around freely. We can put that one on top. Right click, add, scene, rock meter. Boom, it's right here. Move this around freely. Let's put it next to the score. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and you can see how this looks in game. See? Look at that. Look at that. This is console GH. This works well for uh, PC. So that's pretty much it for that. And if you want to resize it, go ahead. By all means, you can resize it however you want. You can stretch it out and make it look stupid like that. I don't know why you would do this, but you can if you want. That's an option. It's an option. It really is. You, can, you have the, really the freedom to do whatever you want here. And um, uh, if you want to switch back to full screen, you're going to go into settings. Actually, wait. No, you're going to add another scene. Right here. And then you can just add the standard capture of your screen. So uh, either window capture or your capture card, whatnot. Right there. And then you're going to go into settings. Go to hotkeys. Go ahead and set it to whatever you want. Set, uh, set whatever your hotkey, what you want. So, where is the scene? Where's the scene going on? Okay, so, you, you're just going to go to switch to scene, and uh, let's just make it number pad zero. Actually, insert, yeah. Apply. So then, your base, you can go to your base uh, scene again. And so, like, when you're done... Oh, I have to see the song. Hit it on your, uh, your number pad or your hotkey, and it'll go back to full screen. No big deal. Uh, yeah, and if you want to set a hotkey to go back to the hand screen, by all means you can do that too. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, again, big huge thanks to Calibration God Bloodline figuring this out, making our lives a whole lot easier. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if there's any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.